Hi folks, welcome to Dutch Cooking today. Here at Dutch HQ, I'm going to be making braised beef ribs. This will be for a cast iron Wednesday. So we've already got our joy stove warmed up with some coals. So I'm just going to put a small Dutch oven on and get that heating up. To this, we're going to add one tablespoon of oil. Put the lid on and let it get warm through. Now we're going to brown our beef ribs. These will take just a couple of minutes either side. We've got the beef ribs from a local butcher. You don't forget to do the ends as well. Just going to repeat it once with the second rib. When they're done, we're going to add one onion, two chopped celery stalks, and one chopped carrot. Just going to give these a stir around. We're going to cook these down for a couple of minutes. Now we're going to add our braising liquid, a whole bottle of red wine. Pop a lid on this and bring this up to a simmer. Now we'll put a simmer, we're going to remove the lid and we're going to let this simmer away for about five minutes just to boil the, uh, the alcohol off. Now we're going to add these big meaty ribs back in. Then we're going to add 350ml of beef stock. One beef cube that we're going to crush down and add. Half a teaspoon of ground black pepper find that we don't need salt you get enough of that from the beef stock and a bouquet garni which consists of two bay leaves a sprig of rosemary and four sprigs of thyme just tied together with a bit of string so we're going to get the lid on and get this up to the uh, the boil again there we are nicely boiling away Pop the lid back on, reduce the temperature of the joy stove, and there we have it. Three and a half hours. These are that tender, it's actually falling off the bone. So I've taken the braising liquid, I've strained it, I've reduced it down, I've added a stick of butter, and made some gravy. Look at the shine on that gravy. So there it is folks, braised beef rib.
If you like what we're doing here at Dutchy Dot Cooking, please subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell.